thank you for investing in the CLPX. This video will provide a brief overview of the external components of the CLPX. When the CLPX is removed from the case it is shipped in, you will have several components on the outside of the CLPX that should be noted. The first component on the left side is the audible alarm. This is where the noise comes from, the beep comes from, when any alarm level is reached on the CLPX. On the bottom of the instrument, this black piece is the battery. This is the battery pack for the CLPX. If this needs to be replaced, this whole black piece is replaced fairly easily. On the back of the CLPX, you have the charging port here, and you also have the SD slot here. On the front of the CLPX, you have your inlet nozzle here. This is where the sample is drawn in. On the right side of the CLPX, you have your door and your knob. This knob will unlock the door. Right now it's locked. You turn it counterclockwise. You'll feel a little pull and you continue to, to push. And you can open the door. This is where the cassette is. You'll see the gate here. This is where the tape is inserted. When you close this, or turn this clockwise, you'll see it closes the gate. If you look internally there, you can really see it closes the gate. So it opens back up here, which also unlocks the door for the CLPX. So you close this, close this. The window here is where the display is seen, where you can see the part number for the CLPX cassette. There is also two knobs here which are used to hold the shoulder strap. On the front of the CLPX you have the display here and you have your buttons which allow you to navigate through the menus of the CLPX. The far right button is the enter button. The, the digital display displays the concentration and all CLPX menus. Powering on the CLPX. To power on the CLPX hit the enter button or the far right button. This will power on the CLPX. It will also tell you which gas it was, it was configured for in the previous analysis period. It will also tell you which cassette should be installed for that selected target gas. To enter the CLPX main menu screen, hit the enter button, which is the far right button. You are now in the CLPX main menu screen. Select gas. From the CLPX menu, scroll to setup. Hit the enter button the far right button. Once you're in the setup menu, select select gas, which should be the top option. In this screen you'll have a variety of gases to choose from depending on the package purchased. To select the required target gas, highlight that gas and again hit the enter button. This will bring you to a screen that tells you which gas the CLPX is configured for and which cassette should be installed, 1-300-070. Hit OK. From here you will be able to adjust your alarm levels. The default alarm levels will appear. The default alarm levels are 1 and 2 TLV. To adjust an alarm level, hit Enter on either alarm level 1 or alarm level 2 and in here you can adjust the alarm level up or down as required. To exit this screen scroll down to save and you will be back in the setup menu. 
to return back to the CLPX main menu, hit the back, air, back button, which is the left arrow button. After you have verified the proper tape has been selected, you will remove the, the tape from the box. The cassette also has the part number on it, 1-300-070. This number should match the number seen when you verified the proper tape for the selected target gas. To install the tape, you will come to the right side of the CLPX and turn the knob counterclockwise or to the left to, open, to unlock the door. This will allow you to open the door. To insert the cassette, you will put the left side in first and slide the cassette to where the gate is opened. You will then close the door and turn the knob clockwise to lock the door. This has now locked the door to the CLPX. The cassette part number can also be seen through the window 1-300-070 and remember when you're in analysis the cassette part number will also be displayed allowing you to verify with the window on the CLPX. Verifying tape. It is always a good practice to verify the proper ChemLogic cassette is installed before entering analysis. To do this from the CLPX main menu, scroll down to Verify Tape. Once Verify Tape is highlighted, hit the right arrow button or the Enter button. This will bring you to a screen that displays the selected target gas, which in this case is Arsene, 0 to 50 PPP, and then the cassette that should be installed in the CLPX with the part number of 1-300-070. You can also see the part number when the tape is installed on the CLPX on the right on the window on the right side of the CLPX. 1-300-070 hydrides. This ensures for the selected target gas that the proper tape is installed. To exit this screen, hit the enter button when OK is highlighted. This will bring you back to the CLPX main menu. Enter analysis. From the CLPX main menu screen, select analysis. Prior to going into the analysis, the CLPX will verify the optics. Once in analysis, on the analysis screen you will see alarm level 1 and the current alarm level, alarm level 2 and the current alarm level, which cassette should be installed, the part number for the cassette, 1-300-070, the target gas, which in this case is arsine, 0 to 50 ppb is the range and the current concentration. To exit analysis, hit the up arrow to end analysis. It will ask you if you're sure. If you would like to exit analysis, hit enter when yes is highlighted. To change alarm levels on a current gas selected without selecting a new gas, from the CLPX main menu, go to the setup. From the setup menu, scroll down to set alarm levels. Here you will be able to adjust the alarm levels without selecting a gas. 
this would be used if a gas is already selected and those alarm levels want to be changed. To exit, scroll down to save and hit enter. And then back, once in the setup menu, will take you back to the CLPX main menu. To view the history of the CLPX events, scroll down to history and hit enter. From here you'll be able to see all events that have occurred on the CLPX. For example, gas selected on 1-8-2014 at this time. To exit, hit the back button and you'll return to the CLPX main menu. The CLPX automatically calculates the short-term exposure limit for every analysis period. To see the short-term exposure limit, you scroll down to STEL, S-T-E-L, from the CLPX main menu, and you hit the right button or the enter button. You can see the STEL was zero, which first occurred at 12-26-2013. You can scroll over to see additional STEL values. To return to the CLPX menu, hit the back arrow, and you'll be back in the CLPX main menu. Powering off. To power off the CLPX, scroll down to the power off. and hit the enter button. From the top of the CLPX main menu which is analysis you can also hit the up arrow which will bring you to the very bottom of the CLPX main menu. Hit enter to power off the CLPX. The CLPX will ask you if you are sure. If you are, hit yes.